You can you have no can no baby. <laughs> what does it mean? You can you have no can no baby. Like wake up? No. <laughs> If you can you can do it. You can you up? Right? You awake or something like that. <laughs> No do or no die. <laughs> I don't know. I would say it's in the metro. <laughs> If I don't see it, I would die. I, I don't know what do mean. Do so make. Make a problem uh, make. for yourself. So if you you have to try everything uh, before you die. Ah, uh, uh, does it mean no pain, no gain? No food, no life. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you go and you die, please. <laughs> Just go and go have a good time. An insult. Yes, I hate you. No, I hate, I hate you. you. Yeah. It's when people see the mountain, mm -hmm. they think it's a sea. <laughs> The higher you go, the more you can see. If I translate in French, in French, maybe it could be very hard to to reach something. Give you some color to see see. <laughs> to see see. Ah, but to see what? <laughs> <laughs> to see see. Give you some color. Give you some color. Can I have some light so I can see? I'm very happy to be in China, to be in India. <laughs> I think that in general the level of English in China is still quite low. I think it's getting better. I mean, what I can appreciate is that Chinese people really work hard to learn English. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not great. <laughs> I think it's really bad. They can say like, hello, and uh, that's it. I think teenagers and adults could also try to use some English language platforms, apps, websites. For example, I know Ingo. Um, it is a really useful app for learning English. You can have a real interaction with the native speaker by Skype and it's really for real cheap price. You don't have to go to expensive institutes and have a very fancy teachers. Um, Even though you go there, but you might not be motivated to learn it. So, the money is all wasted. Um, I don't know, where is the train station? Is it this way or that way? And you will get the answer, yes. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't help. When I give my Chinese friends a choice, so for instance, would you like to have orange juice or water? And the answer is okay, or yes. <laughs> And I'm like, but what do you want? Please tell me. They say hello, but then either they move away or they say no more. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't like this kind of speaking. I think it's a little bit of show off. There's some people, they might not understand you when you speak like this. So it's in uh, where I was born in Nigeria, it's very common to put English words in the middle of the language. Well, I do exactly the same thing when I speak English with French, so... <laughs> the, the best thing is to, is to travel, to be for at least four months in a foreign country and be forced to speak. Maybe instead of to have classes, is to to have like a um, party, you know, but only in English and to share experience. Um, one of the very good ways is to start when you are very young, like you did, with a native teacher. 